guys, someone put all the weight close to me and I'm holding all his all his weight with, with my arms. But I was like, my arm's not gonna be able to hold his weight the whole time. He's gonna just shift his weight and he's gonna just kind of close the distance. So the idea would be like before he collapsed on top of me, I recover, I recover. I find a way to just get my legs so I don't need to use my arms. But sometimes you just don't have that much time. The person just closes the distance too fast and too strong. So if you're over here, you just start closing and you just like cannot really have that much time to recover with your legs. But I have all his weight on top of me, but I can manage to put all his weight away from me. I can uh, direct his weight away from me. And everything's going to depend if I'm able to block so he don't control my head over here. My head needs to be free. Come back, come back. So he's over here. I couldn't get my leg. He closed it. So I'm just blocked to don't let him control. And now, avoid him to control my head. I can manage like to get my way out. Right? I push the elbow. It's a rock. It's a rock. Elbow. And I just get out of there. Right? So he just kind of closed the distance really tight. But if he happens, he's not close. But he falls on his side. Falls on his side. Side. So I cannot really push the elbow now because all his weight is on his butt. But I can manage to just kind of really don't give it, don't don't accept to get my 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 back on the mat. But I was like, he's not gonna be waiting here because if he just waiting, he's gonna fall. Come back, come back. If he I sit up and if he wait over here, he's just gonna fall. So it's natural for him. He's gonna start go back on his knees, right? So from before, he land on his side. I don't know if everybody can see. He land on his side. I managed to sit up. I managed to sit up. And then start getting on his knees. As soon as I start getting on his knees, I bring the leg inside there. And then I start push to recover. So it doesn't matter like if you put all the weight on you, you still can fight. You still can fight as long like he doesn't pin your shoulder, as long as he doesn't pin your head on the mat. You still can fight. He can get like he can get to your side, he can lock your hip. But you can you can manage to just kinda like just get out of there and just kinda like a, don't accept to get your back on the mat. And everything going against to turn your back. Um, try, just don't turn my back. I can do the whole thing and just kind of like turn my back and then I was like, all right, now let's hope he doesn't have a good back take and let's hope I know how to defend my back. So let's put this together. But we can depend on two things to make one thing work, right? So we gotta, we gotta be simple. So he's right on my side. He's just gonna close the distance, go back and this. He's gonna close the distance, sir. Come back, come back, come back. He's gonna close the distance on his knees. Just close the distance on his knees. You block his arm, you push his arm away, make a good, like a cup, a claw grip right above his elbow, right on his tricep. Start rock, rock your leg, hands, get out of there. Next time, he's a little on my side, he starts shift. He's, he's laying right, like a, on his hip, he's down on his knees, rock your legs. Start to sit up. As soon as he get back on his knees, let's do it again. As soon as he get back on his knees, you manage to put your hooks inside and get up on the hook. And I'm just putting all this together because you already worked this in the last few days, like one by one. So now let's put this together. But he's on his side. I rock, elbow, hand. This foot goes in. The closest leg, right? I'm just trying to make this more easy so if you didn't do this before. The closest leg, I swing and put inside. Uh, sometimes you have a long leg, so you need to really pull your knee up and put your foot inside. Uh, if he got his knee really close and you don't have room to put this, you go behind and then you stretch and then you go inside. But every time you recover with your legs over here, I have to manage to stay seated up. So make sure really, really stay seated up because if you let him, he's gonna pin you and then he's gonna jump and pass your guard again. So after, come back, come back, come back. After you recover this, manage to really stay seated up and start pulling to the one you really like a get your pin again. Start, back there. Start over here, guys. He holding my weight. I'm gonna walk and then we're gonna go to the elbow. No, if I'm on my knees, go to the elbow. Come back. He hold my weight. I'm gonna close. If I land on my side, he's gonna sit up. Elbow inside. As soon as I recover, just recover. Come back. Let's try those and put all them together. Let's go back. Guys.